store or online, you can also apply to get it for free. HLNTV.com slash count on me. You enter there. That's all you have to do, and I'll sign it and ship it off to you. Good luck. So breaking news overnight from Texas. What a story here. There was a bill that would have likely shut down most of the abortion clinics there. It failed to pass, though, after an all-night battle ended in this chaos. If I can have order, we will suspend the roll call vote until we can get order in the chamber. But the vote, apparently, after everybody settled down and they were able to look at it, the vote didn't happen before the midnight deadline. So after a lot of confusion, at 3 a.m., the bill was declared dead. Tina Shively of Texas affiliate KVUE has been kind enough to join us this morning. So man, did this go late into the evening. And there was so much confusion. Do we know what accounted for the, the um, confusion? Was it the noise? Well, Robin, I will explain it to you. Those hundreds of protesters that you just heard exploded in the Texas Senate gallery just before the midnight deadline to end the special session. And that's when Republican members moved to vote on a bill that's been causing controversy and grabbing headlines in Texas and across the U.S. More than 11 hours into a filibuster by Democratic Senator Wendy Davis of Fort Worth, a Republican senator, Donna Campbell of San Antonio, objected. She said that a point Davis was trying to make was not allowed within the rules of that filibuster. So Democrats then tried to stall until the midnight deadline. With just 15 minutes left in the session, Republicans moved to vote on Senate Bill 5. And that's when the gallery erupted, people shouting and screaming so loud, they say you couldn't hear the person next to you talking. Then there was a vote. Republicans passed the bill, and the Senate's website showed it happened after midnight. Soon after, the website was changed to say it happened on June 25th, before midnight. Well, that led to more confusion, more uproar from Democrats and protesters. So then Lieutenant Governor David Dewhurst decided to call a caucus and discuss the issue with Senate members behind closed doors. That went on for three hours, and then he came back to say the vote did in fact happen after midnight, after the special session ended, and therefore the bill was dead. Soon after, Senator Davis came out to address the hundreds of people who supported her in the gallery, and also on Twitter with the hashtag, I stand with Wendy. So Lieutenant Governor Dewhurst's last words in the gallery when officially closing the session were see you soon. So, Robin, that could mean that Governor Rick Perry could call another special session as soon as today. In addition to the abortion regulations that were under debate, there are two other bills that lawmakers never had a chance to vote on in this historic special session. Okay, so you're saying what, what happens now? They can come back today? Is that what you said in another session that just ended? Yes, Governor Rick Perry has to call another special session because there were three things still left on the table, the abortion regulations and two other bills that he originally called to be in this special session. So he might call another one as soon as today. Okay, something tells me that you would love some sleep because it seems like um, all of media out of Texas has been staying up <laughs> and following this story. Yeah, very important story. Thank you very much. Appreciate your update. So Halle Berry.